about a year and a half ago. And I feel like my whole life I won the mom lottery. You would go home with the crappiest day in the entire universe, and she had a way of just making you feel good about yourself again. And she did this everywhere in her life. She was a principal, she worked with kids, and she just, she, every kid in that school felt like they could be like no one else. Okay? And she died about a year and a half ago. And the thing is, is that she didn't really have to die. She didn't need to. She died of what I call allopathy. You know, I stayed with her the last year of her life. And there are so many medicines in her. It was amazing. And she died of cancer. And my dad also has cancer. It's in his bladder. It's from those medicines. They're helping one area of your body, but they're poisoning another. Okay, so I'm wondering, since my mom was such an extrovert, and she talked to everybody in her community, why we didn't hear of chiropractic sooner. Why? Okay, for 70 years of her life, we didn't know what it was. We thought, hey, you get an accident, you go to a chiropractor. So what happened? Okay, I remember what happened when we did see a chiropractor who took the time to educate us. We, we just met him at a party, and he, he took that moment to make that personal connection. And he, and he explained, oh, I do this and this and this. And we're just like, what? Chiropractic does that? What? So we, you know, we were the next day in his office, you know, getting educated you know, and learning about chiropractic. But for my mom, you know, she had six months of that, and then she, it was just too late. She couldn't even make it to the office anymore. You know, I made huge progress. And I'm thinking to myself, why? Why in seven years of her life did she not know about chiropractic? And I'm thinking, okay, for a lot of us, we know a lot about chiropractic. We have a hard time talking to people, right? I know that I have tapped out my entire family and friend circle, and when they see me come, they hurt me run, they all in a chiropractic just to get me off their back. But what about all the rest of the people? Like, we didn't know chiropractors. So I'm thinking, how, how can I do that? I know Dr. Oberstein in my class class, he's like, get an elevator, and walk up and say, hey, who's your chiropractor? I'm, I'm just not comfortable. I need an invitation to speak. So after thinking about that for a while, and thinking about what I've been like, I'm like, you know what? There's a lot of ways to get people to talk to you. And I, from watching my mom, I know that extroverts love to talk. And if they see anything on you, they will talk about that thing. So I've been wearing this today, and I've had four more conversations. It works, so do the bone t-shirts and everything else. But that's still not enough people. And even if everybody in here just talked to one person a week or something like this, that's 2,500 people on the street that don't know about chiropractor that we've talked to. But then last weekend, I'm like, I'm going to go even farther with it. And I got this $8 backpack and a spine. And I put it on and I went to the museum. <laughs> And I didn't say a word to anyone, but in no time, I had seven people. I was like, oh, is that a hole in your backpack? Someone just said that to me. <laughs> and once I have that invitation to talk, I am free. I'm like, I know that there's somebody who wants to talk to me. They're an extrovert. They love talking. And I know that once I get that extrovert, they're going to talk to the other introverts, because that's what they do. <laughs> Once I even felt somebody come up, like in the middle, I didn't even say hi to me, they just grabbed a card. That's good. So I'm not a card. <laughs> they, they might not even use it today, and what I say to them today doesn't matter, because it's just planting the seed. When that something comes up, it's going to be in their mind. Okay, and the cards are just a side thing. This is, um, I was in San Francisco, so I was handing out, I was handing out, this is a cards to my chiropractor's office, but I also had in this pocket, ones to the, clinic upstairs. And um, so I'm going to hand those out and I'm going to make sure that I save lives. And so what I'm inviting you to do is whether you like Dr. Oberstein's method of just walking up and talking to people, okay, or if you need an invitation like myself, then do something like this. Because all the people in this room did this, or in the school, that's 20,000 people who haven't heard about chiropractic. And some of them would have that are gonna know about chiropractic. That's just in one year with the students in this school. And in this room, we can make a giant difference. And maybe we can save lives like my mom. 
I know that even if I don't get that person that time, that eventually lives will be saved if we can do this. So that's what I'm hoping to convince you to do here. Thank you very much. <laughs>